Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I hope everybody is doing well today and having a good start of the week. I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys because I know a lot of my friends probably didn't have this for a very, very long time. And we used to call them Sornam mullet back home. So th these are those little tiny mullet with some silver line from top to the bottom. And they goes very nice when you fry them nice and crunchy and you can just eat the whole thing. So let me know in the comment how you like to eat this mullet, if you know what it is. We used to call it sarna mullet. And one of my favorite ways to eat it was to fry it brown and eat it on dal. So I just added some salt. I just added some black pepper. I'm gonna add some green seasoning. I don't wanna add too much because I already wash the little uh, mullet with some lime and I dry them very, very dry with a paper towel because we wanna get out all the moisture. So I have my green seasoning. And I'm gonna add some curry powder on this. So this is gonna work as the flour to keep it from sticking to the pan and from um, sticking together. So I'm gonna mix all this together. So you wanna make sure that you put enough curry powder on this. And that way you don't have to add the flour and you will get a beautiful, crispy, crunchy mullet when you're done. And I'm gonna serve this up with some dal and rice today. So I just added my fish to the hot oil and I'm gonna fry this on one side until it's nice and crispy and then I'll flip it over to the other side until it's nice and crispy and then it's going to be ready for us to eat with our dal and rice. So here is my delicious fried crunchy and crispy mullet and I have some dal to go with this. I'm going to play it up and let you guys know how it tastes but before I do so I have another success story for Sister Donna. She tried my recipe for sago porridge and she is loving it and I want to show share those pictures with you guys because she is cooking up a storm every day. So here is my beautiful plate of dal and rice and my fried mullet. I'm just gonna mix in my dal here. And this is how I like to eat my mullet with some dal and rice. I'm gonna take a mouthful of the dal and rice. And this mouthful goes to all you guys. It is steaming hot at the moment, but I'm still gonna dive in. That dal is really, really delicious. You can see all the jeera and pepper in this dal and li listen to the crunch of this mullet. This is my favorite part. Listen to that. That's what I like. You chew the bone and everything all together. 
and it's so flavorful. When you fry it brown, it have a beautiful flavor. So another mouthful. Mm. So delicious. Let me know when was the last time you had it. If you like this quick recipe that I just did here, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now.